Hello friends, welcome to YouTube channel Electronics for You. Friends, in this video I will explain potential divider rule in which I will solve three problems here and here is the potential divider rule. Generally, we use the potential divider rule in series circuit. So in, in previous lecture, I have explained detail in uh, what is series circuit, how these voltages V1, V2 and V3 are calculated and so on. But let us talk about potential divider rule in this video. So uh, in, in the series circuit, what I had explained is about the voltage. Here voltage V is equals to V1 plus V2 plus V3 that is the supply voltage in series circuit is equal to the sum of individual potential drops. Here sum of potential individual potential drops are V1 plus V2 plus V3 therefore this is uh, the required equation. Now what is V1, V2 and V3 if you want to calculate it separately. So V1 is equals to I times R1, V2 equal to I into R2 and V3 equal to I into I3, R3 where I is the current flowing through this series circuit. Now let us uh, know what is this I is. I is actually the current which is equal to voltage divided by the total resistance of this circuit. Now in this case we call this resistance as are equivalent and therefore we can say that current I is equals to V upon R equivalent. In series circuit R equivalent is nothing but the sum of current uh, sum of all these resistances connected in series and therefore we get I is equals to V upon R1 plus R2 plus R3 where R1, R2, R3 are the three resistances in series. Now if we are having the value of I and if we put it here we will get V1 equals to V divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3 times R1. Now now uh, let us rip now uh, let us move this R1 here and V1 here so we will get this as our equation. Now we know that R1 plus R2 plus R3 is nothing but R equivalent and therefore V1 will be equal to R1 divided by R equivalent into V1 into V where V is our supply voltage. Similarly V2 is equals to V divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3 that is we have just replaced this I with this value and Therefore, we will get V2 equals to R2 upon R equivalent times V. Similarly, V3. Now, you can see here that in case of V1, it was R1 divided by R equivalent times V. Then, in case of V2, it is R2 upon R equivalent into V. Therefore, in case of V3, it will be equals to R3 divided by R equivalent times V. So this is the required formula. Now in this way we can use potential divider rule that is we can directly calculate the value of voltages required. So let us solve one problem here. This is our problem number one. We have to find the voltage across each register. These are our three resistances. Let it be R1, R2, R3 respectively. So we have to find the voltage across these three resistances let these voltages be V1, V2 and V3 respectively. Now total equivalent resistance that is uh, total resistance that is equivalent resistance is given by in series circuit it is the sum of all the resistances therefore R equivalent is equals to R1 plus R2 plus R3 and therefore I can right here R equivalent equal to now is 2 plus 3 plus 5 volts which is equals to sorry ohm which is equal to 10 ohm so R equivalent equal to 10 ohm in this case now let us use the formulas we have already used that is V1 is equals to R1 divided by R equivalent times V where V is our supply voltage so in this case we can write here R1 which is 
टू ओहम आर इक्वेलेंट जस्ट कैलकुलेटेड इट एज टेन एंड सप्लाई वोल्टेज इज ट्वेंटी वोल्ट नाउ बाय सॉल्विंग दिस वी विल गेट वी वन इक्वल टू फोर वोल्ट सिमिलरली वी टू इज इक्वल टू आर टू नाउ जस्ट रिप्लेस दिस रेजिस्टेंस विद आर टू एंड इन दिस केस आर टू इज थ्री ओहम सो थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय टेन दैट इज आर इक्वल एंड मल्टीप्लाइड बाय ट्वेंटी ओहम सो इफ वी सॉल्व दिस वी विल गेट सिक्स वोल्ट एज वी टू एंड V3 थ्री इक्वल्स टू आर थ्री अपॉन आर इक्वल एंड अगेन सो हेयर इट इज फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई टेन टाइम्स ट्वेंटी सो इट्स टेन ओल्ड नाउ यू कैन सी हेयर दैट वी गॉट वी वन एज फोर ओल्ड वी टू एज सिक्स ओल्ड एंड वी थ्री एज टेन ओल्ड सो दिस वॉज एक्चुअली अवर प्रीवियस प्रॉब्लम इन दिस सीरीज सर्किट आई हैव सॉल्व इट प्रीवियसली एंड वेयर अगेन बाई सॉल्विंग दिस I got it as four volts, six volt, and ten volts, which is nothing but our current answer. So here is the proof for the potential divider rule, or we can simply say that it is a voltage divider rule. Now this was our problem number one. Now uh, let us uh, talk about where the voltage divider rule is used. We will solve two more problems after this. So uh, in case of voltage divider rule, we use it. simple and most important electronic circuit which is used to change a large voltage into a small voltage so if you want to change uh, a large voltage and uh, you want to divide it into smaller voltages you can use the voltage divider rule that is the first case then again it is used to generate a part of input voltage like output so uh, if you want to produce the output of some Uh, by using some input voltage you can provide it, uh, you can generate it by using voltage divider rule because it is itself known as voltage divider means you have to divide the voltage say you are having a 10 volt supply and if you want to divide it into 5 volts plus 5 volt or 2 volts plus 8 volts etc you can divide it so input voltage can be transmitted between two resistors in the two uh, here we have written two or we can say that two or more registers in the circuit so that the division of voltage take place so this is where we have to we can use the voltage divider rule now let us solve one more problem here is the problem find the voltage across each register for the circuit shown below now here is the circuit now in this case instead of uh, the power supply simple plus vcc is given and ground is also given so we can simply say that a battery of 10 volt is applied where this is our positive supply and this is ground now r1 and r2 are given as 30, uh, 20 and 30 ohm respectively so again using same concept uh, let the voltage drop across 20 ohm and 30 ohm resistance be v1 and v2 so here we will get v1 and here we will get v2 we will find the values of v1 and v2 here that is voltage across each register so in this case again equivalent resistance is given by r equivalent is equals to r1 plus r2 and here i can calculate it as r equivalent equals to 20 plus 30 so just these two resistances are added which is equals to 50 ohm so r equivalent equal to 50 ohm now just use the formula for potential divider rule and it is very very simple that is v equals to r1 divided by r equivalent times now see the here that supply voltage is nothing but vcc therefore vcc is written here and it is equals to 20 because r1 is equals to 20 50 is our equivalent resistance multiplied by 10 which is equals to 4 volts similarly v2 is v2 will be equals to r2 divided by r equivalent into vcc which is equals to 10 so 30 upon 50 into 10 is equals to 6 volt so this is v1 which is 4 volt and v2 equals to 6 volt so in this way we have solved this problem now let us see the third problem here we have to only find uh, output voltage v 
O. So this is our output voltage, which is which can be measured across this 18 ohm resistance. But see here that this supply is given as 5 volt and 12 volt. So two different battery sources are provided here. So let us sol solve the, this problem. Now again here these three here these three resistances. 4 ohm, 12 ohm, uh, and 18 ohm. These are connected in series. You can complete. Uh, you can see here that they are connected one after other. Therefore, we can say uh, say that equivalent resistance is given by 4 plus 12 plus 18, which is equals to 34 ohm. So equivalent resistance R equivalent is equals to 34 ohm. We have to find this output voltage itself. So Definitely formula will be equals to 18 ohm divided by equivalent multiplied by supply voltage. But the supply voltage is problem here because two sources are given here. Now if two or more sources are given, let us check that whether they are additive or subtractive. We have to check whether this will be added or subtracted. If if they are connected in such a way that a positive terminal of battery is connected to the negative of others or a negative of one battery is connected to positive of other then they are generally added it is simply just like this if we use the kvl here it is uh, negative positive then pl, uh, negative positive so this and this so 12 volt and 5 volts will be added and therefore we can say that supply voltage Vs let it be indicated by Vs Vs will be equal to 5 plus 12 which is 17 ohm. So supply voltage is 17 and therefore we can calculate Vo output voltage as equals to 18 divided by R equivalent multiplied by Vs that is supply voltage which is equals to 9 volts. So in this way we can calculate the respective output voltage here so friends if you like this video please share it with your friend and subscribe this channel in next video i will discuss about parallel circuit of resistors thank you